Welcome back to Hawke's Bay. It was our second day exploring in Napier and we spent it hanging out with the world's smallest penguins. We've got some cool new accommodation and a 1.5 million litre oceanarium to share. But spending time with penguins has been on my bucket list for so long and I absolutely loved it. They're all rehabbing or recovering in one way or another and we could actually see what some of their personalities were like. <laughs> You're silly, eh? Yeah! Wow. Thank you, Gil! Thank you, Gil! <laughs> I'm so excited that we finally, guaranteed, guaranteed get to see some penguins. Penguins, finally! We spent so long looking for penguins. So I was reading on their website that every year they announce a uh, penguin of the year. And in 2021, a little guy called Mo won, and this is what it says. Mo is officially our naughtiest penguin, <laughs> making the naughty penguin of the month board nine times, and good penguin twice. <laughs> and he still got, he took out MVP. And he still won, and it says apparently his girlfriend Betty tries to keep him on the straight and narrow though. Oh, that is so funny. So we're about to go and check into some new accommodation though. We always try and find these awesome, unique, different sort of accommodation to share with you guys. We're moving to a place in Hastings and the reason we picked this spot in particular is because it's super close to a lot of vineyards. Mm -hmm. It's out away from the city a little bit. We can go and cycle the vineyards from here uh, and then it's you can get to Napier, you can get to Cape Kidnappers which if the weather stays good we might be able to get there. Good options. So this place is called Chambersun Cottage and it's named after a French varietal of grape which to be honest I'd not actually heard of before no. which is kind of cool. Um, it's an award-winning cottage, it's got some really cool interior design so I'm excited to check it out. Yeah. That right there is the vines, got the grapes all inside and back here this is the cottage and there is Stacey. <laughs> Welcome to our beautiful little cottage. Come on in. You're really embracing it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Got my little slippers on. Through here is the bathroom. And just behind Danger is the toilet. Love all the black um, tap wear and finishes. The tiles look real good. Nice tiles too. It's quite cozy, like yeah. the ceiling as you walk it in. It's very low actually. If you look low. at my, my height, and we're not normally that close to a ceiling, but <laughs> it's that real small cottage feeling with the, the premium luxury kind of touches. Oh, out there as well, there's a laundry, a washing machine, and bikes. bikes that we can use as well to get around to some of the vineyards. Polished concrete mixed with the beautiful timber and the low ceilings. It's a really nice mix of all different types of styles. So here's the kitchen. It's got a little breakfast bar here so we can have our coffee and just look out into the vines. And I should show you this as well. So Clearview actually lease the vineyard out front and then they obviously take the grapes away and make what I'm assuming is beautiful Oh yeah, we wine. do actually have to try that. Coming through from the kitchen into the living room, the ceilings completely open up to oh, this yeah. vaulted high pitch. It's quite simple and minimal in here. There's no TV or anything. And then this is the master bedroom. So there's another patio out there. That's the coffee here. jam out there, isn't it? beautiful views, nice fluffy bed, and then there is an office nook just here. And we completely missed this <laughs> <laughs> the first time we came in here. It's actually a little loft. Is it very big up there? What are we yeah. talking Single, double, queen, I reckon king. that's a double. Really? Show us. What, go up? No, here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, it's like a little snuggly area. Well, it's not that little actually, it's about a double futon. Yeah. So, yeah, when danger misbehaves, we just put them up there. <laughs> well, that'll be every night. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Hey, I am really excited for this. Me too. We're doing the Little Penguin Close Encounter and it's actually a rehabilitation center for the little guys who have been, you know, abandoned as chicks or um, are partially sighted. So this is at the National Aquarium of New Zealand. I like that it's all part of a rehab center. It's got this, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Oceanarium or something. Yeah. It's kind of like this big archway with heaps of like saltwater fish, freshwater fish. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> yeah, we're really excited. <laughs> I can't even get my words I'm smiling, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. So predominantly we work as a rehabilitation center. Um, so they come to us in all sorts of states. Um, spinal injuries, abandoned chicks, oh. some that have been attacked by predators. Uh, all sorts of bits and pieces and for the most part we can actually rehabilitate them and release them into the wild and cool. um, we only provide a home for birds that would no longer survive by themselves so the ones right. we're going to meet today are partially sighted we've got one that's missing a flipper one that's missing Aww. an eye <laughs> some that can't walk properly Aww. all sorts of things so okay. some of the waste and strays of the world and, um, the species of penguin that we have here are called the little penguin yeah. or the little blue penguin and they're quite literally the smallest species in the world they are native to new zealand and also south australia uh, and between the two countries there's currently about 800,000 of them so uh, yeah quite a good number mm -hmm. um, however they are on the uh at risk threatened sort of species list that means their numbers are on a slow decline yeah. uh, but there's lots of things around the country like rehabilitation centers uh, and also conservation groups that are going out and making sure that there's safe nesting sites for them and uh, things like that Dave, hi buddy, come on Dave, <laughs> calling Dave, Dave. <laughs> Hi, are you going to come and say hi? Good boy, Mr. Me. Dave's coming No yeah, way this is Dave, he was born here. Hi Dave. 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 He's a good boy, are you? You're a good boy, aren't you, mate? He's like, I am a good boy. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Oh, <laughs> nice to be greeted, isn't it? Nice friendly <laughs> welcome. <laughs> So Bex has just talked us through their diets. They eat about 15 teeny fish a day. Their nutrients are tracked and they're weighed often. Um, and they've got this little rehab pool that they swim in for the little guys who are recovering. Once a year we put it out to public vote. Yeah. Oh, is it um, public vote the, as well? Yeah, all the people that follow it, they are the ones who choose Penguin of the Year. Good job, Timmy. First three years Mo has been runner up. And really? This year people were like, if he doesn't win, we're going to riot. <laughs> Mo finally took it <laughs> home. Finally took it home. Uh, so what happens is a feather sticks up like that, so this bit's flat, so that's how much feather there is. Mm -hmm. um, and there's that fluffy bit underneath, so that oh, sits yeah. under there, that's where all the warm air is as you swim, and the water pressure, the deeper you go, it pushes that feather out, so you're more streamlined and pushes all the, the air out from underneath so that they can dive down. Yeah, okay. That's not what I expected. Yeah. Is that what you expected? No, not you really, no. Feel them if you like. Oh, wow, they are fluffy and soft. Is it? They yeah. They make a very good pillow though, because they're quite small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd need a few. <laughs> they're so small. Maybe There's three. There's your lunch there, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're about to feed the little penguins, so I just have to wash my hands before we do that. And keep them nice and healthy. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you missed it. You come back. Come back. Come back. Here we go. That's the one. Oh. So you really have to get it to the side that he can see it on. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> is that Captain? It is. It's Dave's dad. No way. It's Dave's dad. Wow. Okay, so Captain, the reason why I was struggling is he's missing an eye. So you have to really position it on one side so that he can see and then try and get it in. But as I was trying to give it to him, another little guy swept in and took it away. But Captain is Dave's dad. Dave is the first one that came to see us. Oh no. Push down. There you go. Betty is Mo's girlfriend. Aww. You hungry, Betty? I am hungry. He's swinging those little arms. Swing those flippers. Good girl.
Come on, Tim. Yes. Wow, yeah, Tim's smart. Who's this? Like you? I bought new things for you. Do you want this? Oh, that's so cute. Seems like you did it wrong. I'm going home. Laura, come back. I'm sorry. You're so snobby. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Eat this fish. Come on, Dora. Eat this fish. Down. Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I got there in the end. Dora. Marina, who's been sick, so she does get the treatment. Oh, good stuff. Thank you, Marina. Yeah, I've been sick. Even you. Marina. She's had some antibiotics. She's on the menu now. Oh, oh that's, that's good. good. You just want two? Put another one back? Yep, I'm Very done. Fine. See ya. <laughs> Okay. That's well, so they really funny. don't eat much, do they? Yeah. Depends though, because you've been unwell. They really make an effort not to feed the penguins when in the burrows, otherwise, just like teenagers, they won't ever come out. They'll only just, they'll stay in their burrows, they'll just hang out with their partner, they just get fed in their room and they just never come out. So, there is a couple, that one in particular has been, what was it, what, that one's name? Marina. Marina. Marina's been sick, so it gets slightly different treatment. Whereas these last couple, they just don't seem to want to come out, so it's a case of if you're hungry, you'll come out. You're going to sing us a song? Come on. Sing us a song. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> you're silly, eh? Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. What a stunning voice. Just wonderful. Are you hungry? Come on. Got another one. You can do it. Come on then, here you go. No, no, no. She's just playing with you. Like it's a fish, but I can't be bribed with food. <laughs> hey, Dora. Come on, Dora. Oh, you want to try Marina. Here you go, you want another one? She's got one for yes. you. Who's that? She's like, thank you. Good girl. <laughs> there is a really particular technique you might have seen in some of the first footage there that I, I didn't quite get it right. I was going too high. You really have to have to feed it to them a bit a bit better. They're allowed to uh, I got my finger. Oh shit, I've messed that up, I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are just living their best life here. So we finished up with the little penguin close encounter and now we get to go upstairs and see the rest of the aquarium. And that's all for, That's all part of the same price. It's all it? part of the ticket when you buy the close encounter. That was so cute though. That was really cute. They don't eat much. They eat way less. Than, oh, I mean they eat three times a day. So you can see why they don't really eat a lot at a certain point. In time, no, that's right? true. That's true. Whoa. Damn. They are food. Babe, it's a turtle. <laughs> oh, come on. Dane always says turtle. You can then pick between tortoise and turtle, <laughs> so it always ends up being turtle. Oh, good day. Oh, what a healthy little guy. What are you eating? Carrots. Nom 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 nom. That's a big mouthful for a little turtle. Nom 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 nom. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, you're hungry. Oh, I'm 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 Shredding, I like it. Water dragons. Oh, water dragons. Hey, look at these guys. These are Reeves, Reeves turtle. Oh, and red air slide. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> that is amazing. 
Have you ever seen so many turquoise? I've never seen so many. <laughs> This is the part, this is the oceanarium I was talking about, the part where you jump on like a little travelator, <laughs> like what you get your bags off at the airport. <laughs> oh, it's just you, like travel. And you go through. I'm hoping there's some big fish, like some shark, I can see like a puffer fish. Should we walk? Yeah. Okay. Don't lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Now's not the time to relax. Are you ready? You yeah. jump on at the same time? Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's that's me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what does that remind you of? <laughs> Tara <laughs> from Gisborne. <Gisbane. laughs> Waffle. <Whoa. Wow. laughs> That's so funny. <laughs>